Skull and Bones, favorite number, 322. What does it mean? Skull and Bones, of course, the root of the American Illuminati, transplanted from Germany to America in 1832 after one of the founders, William Huntington Russell, was studying abroad over in Germany and then returned to Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut to start Skull and Bones uh, in 1832 with the same symbols, same goal, same initiation <laughs> ritual, uh, et cetera. Their favorite number, 322. Many people have uh, a couple different ideas of what this means, but I will tell you here. Some say that it means, uh, it refers to the death, the year that Demosthenes, a Greek philosopher uh, and orator, died, uh, saying that they're paying homage to him. Uh, some people say that it refers to the second branch of the Illuminati, founded in 1832. So you got the 32, 1832, number two, which is ridiculous. Really what it means is it refers to the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 22, where it talks about Adam and Eve eating from the, uh, from the tree of knowledge and good, of good and evil. And so that's the, one of the royal secrets of these secret societies, that they think that Satanism is the secret to success. And so every time they're talking about 322, 322, it's symbolic of the Luciferian initiation. It's symbolic of the fall of man, or as they call it, the ascent of man. Uh, because, of course, they believe that Satan is the savior. Uh, that's their story. Bush... President Bush 41 and his grandson, of course, two popular members, uh, John Kerry, Secretary of State. Well, what's interesting, Bush, of course, if you didn't know, was confronted about this on Meet the Press, where he just said it's so secret, we can't, just can't talk about it. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go on. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the record. Number 322. <laughs> I, uh, first of all, he's not the nominee, and uh, but uh, look, I look for. Are you prepared to lose? No, I'm not going to lose. And after President Bush was um, selected, <laughs> you know, I mean, some say elected, but selected, what he did is he basically filled a bunch of cabinet level positions with his fellow Skull and Bones men. Uh, William Donaldson uh, became, was appointed to the chairman of the Security and Exchange Commission. You know, just to look over the uh, look over Wall Street over those. Let's have a skull and bones, but just you know, just make sure that those uh, you know New York Wall Street traders are being honest. That's that's great. Um, Bush also also appointed Edward McNally uh, to the Department of Homeland Security. Very interesting. Very very interesting. Of course, while most people think uh, you know are familiar that George W. Bush and his father, and perhaps even you understand that his grandfather was. Uh, were Skull and Bones or are, you know, Skull and Bones, it's not a, not something that they were a member of. It's a, it's a postgraduate senior society, meaning that they are inducted their senior year. They start at senior year, unlike your traditional fraternity. But what a lot of people don't know is that uh, George W.'s um, uncle, John Walker, was also a Skull and Bones, it's also Skull and Bones, who helped him fund Arbusto Oil. Okay, and uh, his great uncle George Herbert Walker Jr. and his cousin Ray Walker are all Skull and Bones members, keeping it close in the Bush crime family. <laughs> you know, well, three, two, two, yeah, the fall of man, Satan rules. That's pretty much the theme of Skull and Bones. So now you know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and the playlists, and stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon. Oh, by the way, here's George Bush and his father giving a lakeside talk in the Bohemian Grove. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, you know, just another uh, Illuminati skull. It's like Skull and Bones camp uh, for, for adults, you know, Skull and Bones over there at Yale, Yale University for the young college kids, uh, and then Bohemian Grove, basically the Skull and, skull and Bones playground uh, for, for the adults.